Look, we, we think the rules should be changed and, and should be made stronger. Um, that's part of any normal process. I think that will happen. Some things have already started to happen. You've seen a number of changes happen in FIFA. And we need to know what those rules are and what the rationale is for making decisions. Before you get into a game, into a contest, you know what the, you want to know what the rules are. And I think that's that's a fair uh, fair request on the part of any participant. It's a nonsense to, yeah. to think that those two aren't going to be intertwined. That doesn't mean organizations should be lobbying politicians right. at elections, but politics matter. Politicians matter, and football matters, and they're going to intersect. So to think you're going to, to separate those two, you know, you, you can't very well say governments shouldn't be involved in anything else and then be in a situation, whether it's in Brazil, where we need help on stadiums, exactly. or here, where you need a local council to be helping with whatever ordinance is necessary. So that's, that's normal and natural, and a better understanding and acceptance of that is mm. really what I'm talking about. But I mean, really saying, look, you cannot, look, anyone who's ever been to Qatar in the summer, as I have, knows you can't hold a football tournament there, even if you can have air-conditioned stadiums.